This tutorial is by Cooper Collier, lead programmer with WatersWebWorks.com. Please visit our Team Desk expert listing if you need assistance or have any questions and we'll be happy to help. While I'm teaching the um, tutorials for introducing Team Desk for beginners, um, I'm at a point where I need another table in this um, database. So it just will make some things that I'm going into next easier to understand. And to make that new table, I want the table populated with data. So I need to do an import of data. So I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to import your own data. So what I have is a spreadsheet full of data. And I'm going to pop that up on the screen. And the spreadsheet that's saved like this, you can use your own spreadsheet, of course, but the top row is the labels. And that's important to know that the top row is labels. It does not have to be labels, but you need to know whether or not the top row is labels. And to import into Team Desk, you need to save it as a CSV. So when you take your file, you're going to do a save as, and you're going to change this to CSV or TSV which stands for tab delimited and there's the CSV and I have never saved as tab delimited so I'm not even sure where you do it but some of the stuff you can get is tab delimited so there's my data and I'm gonna close this because it's already saved and such now where did I get that data I got that data from this website um, BrianDunning.com. So I'm not recommending them, plugging them, or anything. I found them and they have nice sets of sample data with names and addresses. And so I'm using the free thing and I'm giving them credit for it. And, and that's it. I'm sure there's other places to find sample data when you're developing your database. So what I need is to have this new database and I'm going to into this table. One second. I got ahead of us, so I'm going to go back. Okay. I need a new table, so I'm going to make a new table right here. I'm going to call it customer. Remember, I almost did customers. I really have a hard time with that, but we just make it singular and Team Desk will make it read correctly for us. Since I'm importing my data new, I do not need to add any columns. There's my new table. Now note, when I made a new table, there are some columns in there. If I look at customized columns, there are going to be the basic ID, those system columns. System columns are always going to be there. So, next step is I'm going to go over to tables and I'm going to import data into table right here. See, you can copy and paste. Uh, that works for small amounts of data but typically you want to import data from a CSV or a TSV. And we want to choose the file and that file is cleverly located and here, and Team Desk Tutorials, and there, and there. Yes, I have a lot of files everywhere. And we know, as I said, the first row has a list of field names. Then we come up to this slightly confusing view. Now, it's easier to look at it starting at the back. This is going to be, it's going to show your last row of records in the spreadsheet you're importing, the second row and the first row. Why do they for do this this way? Is because the first row typically has your label names and you want to look at them. Second row then would be your first row of records. So that's going to be the first thing you import and that's going to be the last thing you import. And there's going to be a whole bunch in between. So this is this is your labels unless you didn't have labels, then then it would 
you'd have a first row that actually has data and that makes it a little harder because what it um, team desk wants to do is it's going to use your first row labels as your labels and typically you don't want to change them but the reason you can change them is when you're importing maybe you don't want first name to be spelled that way you want it to be spelled nicer so just like that and I'm going to change that one to company simple I'll leave the rest alone because you don't want to watch me doing them the type is what it's going to create as your column type when it makes a new column. In this case it is going to make new columns and all these are text, 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 zip code is numeric, that's okay. Phone number, well, let's make it phone number, phone number, email address because this one's an email, this one's your web, so that's all. And these all say create new column. Now if you were importing into a database that already had columns in it then it would try to match up first name with a column that you had called first name and sometimes you have to adjust that and I'll do that in a later class. This, we're just going to import and make a new table from your spreadsheet that's all and we have a match column here and this is for importing into an existing table that already has data and typically you match on the ID so if that you're importing the same record again with just something updated maybe you updated last names in a outside a team desk then it would update and not make a new record and I'll show I have a class on that at another time that's a little advanced for what we're doing now at, that's all there is to it. We've matched everything up and we click next. And what's going to happen is we wait a bit and it's at 500 records inserted. Finished. We're done. So I'm going to go back to the view and refresh it. And there's my customers. It's all in there and I've imported it. And that's all there is to doing for importing into a brand new spreadsheet into a brand new table into team desk and now we can use it